Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of Dirty Little Secrets. I know you guys have been requesting this one, so I wanted to do it. I'm really excited. We're finally going to the Masquerade Ball in this one, and we gotta find our Prince Charming. Well, not really our Prince Charming, just like the Prince, we got a charm so we can find out his information. I don't really know what we have to do to him later. Extort him, kill him, who knows? It's fine. Anyway, guys, I really, really hope you enjoy. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you aren't already, and let's start the drama. Who knew that Deerwood's Academy had a grand ballroom? No, actually, I'm not the least surprised. It was the big day of the ball. I had spent the whole day finishing my assignments and catching up on my revision. Rose and Hazel were coming up to my room 20 minutes so that we could make our way to the grand ballroom together. I had just enough time to get ready. Okay, I was gonna say, I hope I don't have to pick another outfit. We picked it in the last one. Should I do my hair and makeup? Yes, we need to restyle ourselves. We can't go looking tired like we did. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I accidentally hit this looks perfect, but... She looks cute. It's fine. Okay, so I think our friends are here. We're going to the ball. Hopefully it's our friends. If it's one of our other men, that's going to be dramatic. No, it's our girls. Oh, look how pretty we all look. I mean, we do look the best, but they look gorgeous too. <laughs> look at the both of you. Look at you. I am so excited. I'm still so happy that we bought Hazel her dress, like, and she gets to go. I'm, I'm so happy for her. I know that everyone else is going on about the prince, but this might be my chance to dance with David Madison. Oh, I heard that David isn't going. Oh, well, we're going to have fun anyway, right? I am so scared there's going to be a point in this story where we're going to lose a ton of points with Hazel if we have to pick David. We are. All right, girls, and now for the finishing touch. Ready? Let's go. I'm excited for the drama that's going to happen. Masquerade Ball's in the Positively Princess. It's dramatic, and I already know this is going to be dramatic. Who are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was some, like, little scene here. Oh, is that Caterpillar Brows? I see she was invited for some reason. Wow, look at this ballroom. Look at everyone all dressed up. Beautiful. I wonder where is the prince? Oh, there's those three again. Okay, of course they're here. Those stops wouldn't miss a chance to rub shoulders with a real life prince. All right, let's listen in on their conversation. Ugh, I tried to sneak in, but I got thrown out by his bodyguard. How dare they treat me as if I was some kind of peasant girl you are. But you are a commoner, my dear girl. <laughs> Get her, Harry. Hey, whose side are you on anyway? Last I checked, you're just as common as us. And they had the nerve to come after Hazel. Ugh. At least I didn't get myself thrown out of the VIP area. But I just wanted to see Rainer. Just get a bit closer to him, girl. You're going to be out here. That's as close as you're ever going to get to him. Smell his hair. And if we get our way, you ain't even going to be in the same room. Next to room with him ever again. Oh, she's little. Who is that girl sitting with him anyway? She looks even more posh than us. Wait, we got a competition? Don't you know who she is? That's Princess Charlene of Cordina. Isn't she just magnificent? Yeah, but she's too magnificent for you, Harry. You ain't Harry Styles. Actually, no, I do not think she is magnificent. I'm sure. All right. You're just jealous because you'll never be a real royal hero. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm not jealous. You are so totally jelly, though. Shut up! I just don't understand what's the point of him coming here when he's just going to break a date. This was supposed to be my chance to finally get to snag the prince. Girl, you ain't gonna snag anything but your tooth. There now. At least you still have us. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Those three are like a comedy routine. I'll go get us some drinks. What do you want? I'll have whatever you're having. Yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure that we don't drink as much as we did in the last party we all went to. Okay, be right back. How cute is Prince Rainer, though? Oh, gee, he's gorgeous. I don't know how we're going to get his attention with that princess there, though. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, did they give us a look or was that just me? Are they whispering secrets? Okay, so... Oh, he don't look too happy with her. Do you have to look so bodyguard-like? My apologies, your highness. I mean, at least wear a mask. Get into the spirit of the evening. Event, evening, whatever. Oh. But he looks a little poor guy. Poor Lee. Leave Lee alone, Charlene. Oh. You're not being a very nice date, Raina. Girl, you were the one talking about the mask. You're right. My apologies, princess. I am merely slightly bewildered as to why you are here. You are not even a student at this school. 
I told you your mother invited me to attend. Not his mother. I liked his mother. As the main benefactor of the charity, she has every right to extend invitations to whoever she pleases. Oh, he looks so sad. We gotta save him from her. Charlene, does it not bother you that our parents are trying to matchmake us? Why would it bother me? Because we're not in the Middle Ages? But I find you very attractive. That's nice, Charlene, but this isn't like, I don't know, like the years and stuff, but you know those years. Do you not find me very attractive? I... Wait, you're not gay, are you? <laughs> Plot twist. He could have been actually, I think. Oh, wait, I, yeah, because you could have made them LGBTQ. I forget. I'll go get us some drinks. I can get the drinks for your highness. Lee, no, 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 no. Lee, let me get some air, please. Understood, your highness. We don't want to be in the same room as her. She seems like an okay girl. It's just she's not for Prince Rainer. Oh, my God, it's Rainer. How are you, old champ? Your highness, I... <laughs> Bye, leave, eat my dust. Oh my God, it's the prince. Everyone's fainting over him. Oh, she really literally fainted. <laughs> wow. Can I get three glasses of champagne, please? I love how in the school, they're just like, these underage kids, I, they're all underage. I'm pretty sure they can't drink. I don't think they can drink. I may have missed something, but they just can't throw in that alcohol. There you go. Oh, but I asked for three glasses of champagne. Your glass of red wine, courtesy of M. What the hell? Who? M? Well, not who, but M. Oh, he's setting this up perfectly. Michael's on top of his game. You know what? It's creepy and weird to see. Is give him his props, though. He's ready at all moments. What can I get for you, your highness? Two glasses of champagne and a shot of vodka, please. <laughs> Actually, make that a double shot. Coming right up. It's Rainer. Okay, we gotta make our move. I'm scared. All right. He looks depressed. We gotta cheer him up. Is he smoking a cigarette? He is. Oh, wow. We have the, the mask. It was a shock to suddenly see the prince up close about hearing so much about him. I suddenly understood why all the girls were so worked up about him. The boy was gorgeous. His perfect aristocratic features simply stunning. He had sharp sculptured cheekbones and a jawline that could chisel granite. He stood there silently with an air of authority that was palpable. He looked upset. My heart started racing. We gotta cheer him up. We can't let him be sad. We gotta help him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, the cockiness. Uh, no, he looks perfect. Are you sure? This look, yes, we're gonna just keep him the way the author intended. All right, down that wine, girl. Get some liquid courage and let's start this. He's standing right beside me. This is my only chance to get his attention. What should I do? Oh, <gasps> that was Michael. That was Michael pulling a move. <laughs> I am so sorry. He bumped into me. Sorry. That was Michael. I can't read that. What a day. Your Highness, are you all right? But what happened? Nothing, just a bit of what spilled wine. Did that girl spill her wine on you? Girl, you need to stop pointing fingers where you shouldn't be pointing fingers. That finger is going to be removed real quick. I said it's nothing. Please don't make it into a big deal. Are you all right? I, I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. I have another suit that I can change into. What about you? What, what about me? Do you have something else to change into? Oh, we got it on ourselves. No, we don't. Oh, great. Just great. He's getting all excited. Charlene, you always bring an extra dress in case you change your mind about what you wear, don't you? Yes, why? Would you be so kind as to lend your dress to this person? What? Of course no. Thank you, Lee. You can bring the dress up to my room. <laughs> I like him. I like him. Follow me. <gasps> Ooh, he likes us. That's right, girl. What just happened? He picked me, girl. <laughs> we got the better hair, the better look, we got the better thing. Okay, I'm being mean. She's a nice looking girl. She's pretty, but <laughs> we won. I'm really sorry for spilling the wine on you. I don't think he cares at this point. He's excited that we spilled the wine on him. This is the first excitement. I was like, oh, he's shirtless. No need to keep apologizing. I knew it wasn't your fault. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's shirtless. 
Look at Prince Rainer. He's chiseled. He's chiseled, all right. All right, we gotta see the close up, the photos of him. Let's see here. Let's see what our boy looks like. I'm actually kind of liking Prince Rainer's personality. So, like, David, I wasn't feeling like he's really nice and sweet and cute and stuff, but I just don't know about him. Whereas, David's kind of fun at this point. Not David, Prince Rainer. Although, who knows? Maybe David's really fun once we get to know him. I'm excited to see if he is. Like, what dirty secrets does he have? Okay, look at him. How adorable. All right. Sexy, sexy God. All right, let's see here. Oh, dear. Okay, everyone. So that was the end of that chapter. So we finally met Prince Rainer. We spilled our wine on him. Well, Michael bumped into us. We spilled our wine. How does Michael know all the right things to do? I don't know. He's a genius, but I'm not going to question things. I don't want to end up in a body bag, so we good. But we got Prince Rainer in the room. What drama's going to happen up there? I'm so excited. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah, she's fervent with a smile They came from hell to see you So you know she's something right That girl, she's so delicious Baby, come and say goodbye